and welcome to This Is How We Roll. With me as always is the big roller herself, Sarah. And today we're doing something special. Sarah, tell us a bit about this game. We, well, we're playing uh, Make Sail from yes. Port Royal, which is a short and quick version. Slim Down doesn't have as many different cards. Uh, you'll see that in the play that you're about to see. Yes, and the reason why we're doing a whole Watch It Played is because we had a comment asking, well, how do you guys play? Because we do talk about the fact that uh, accessibility is an issue. Mm -hmm. I'm legally blind and Sarah does operate a lot of the stuff. So actually seeing us play a game was interesting to them. Yeah, but we wanted to pick something short that, you know, hopefully won't lose people's interest. And so we... Going over Port Royal, the big box here, we saw that it had the short version of Make Sail, which most people haven't really talked about because it is a quick beginner introductory thing that most hardcore gamers aren't probably gonna care too much about. But so we are actually trying to make this video dual purpose in that you can see how we interact playing a game and also see how Make Sail actually plays. All right, so Will, what is this? This is how we roll. So we're going to play the make sale yes. version of this game. And we'll do it uh, from setup to finish. Uh, we have a whole deck that's just for the make sale. And we set up just as normal where we shuffle the cards. Each person will get three face down as they're starting coins. Then whoever is the start player will have Sarah start the game. Uh, we'll have equal number of turns. So if someone triggers the end of the game, we'll make sure that everyone has an equal number of turns. So I'm going to be the last player. Uh, difference from the base game is we're going to eight points instead of 12. Uh, tax increases work a little bit different. We'll go over that when that happens. And we only have uh, merchants. Uh, what are the, pa they're called passengers. Passengers, passengers and sailors. sailors, and ships. Those yes. are the only other types of cards we'll even see. All right. Okay. Let's get started. All right. I am flipping over my first card. Oh, there are pirates in here. I guess they're sailors and pirates. Well, pirates work the same as sailors. Exactly. They have swords. Swords are used to fight yes. off ships that you don't want. So, um, yeah. What's it cost? It costs seven. Okay. Well, so there's you're two still... swords and, yeah. We don't have that type of money. There's a bark with one coin on it. Okay. I'm going to choose to keep going. There's a passenger for seven because she's worth seven points. Seven points? I mean, sorry, three points. She costs seven, worth three points. Yes, because seven points, points would is, almost win yeah, the game. Exactly. Sorry. Uh, oh, I busted because I got another bark. <laughs> oh, you <laughs> laugh at me. Now it's my turn. All yeah. right. Top card. It is a sailor for five. Worth, Next card. Okay. It's a frigate for four coins. <sighs> That's a lot of money. It is a lot of money. You won't buy anything, but I'm okay with that. I'm taking the four. All money. right, so one, two, three, four. Putting my total up to seven coins, back to Sarah. Okay. And, ooh, a flute. Maybe I should just take, no, well, that, you have money. That'd be me. It that, is, and you me. have money, so I want your money. Well, there's a sailor for five. Hello, sailor. I think you would buy that. So I will stop. He's a one sword. One sword worth two points, cost five. Not bad. So I will stop and I will take the flute for one, two, three, four. And that goes to the discard pile. And I will buy the sailor. So one coin goes to you. All right. And one, two, three, four, five goes to the bank. Leaving me with one left. Now you have a sailor in front of you. With one sword and two it points. It's your turn. All right. Top card. It is a merchant for bark. The only downside here is I could say green, but since for Will, I've been using the names of the ships, I have to look at the tiny thing in the top here that says bark, which yeah. is very tiny. Since this is one of the new cards, the way that works is if you have that merchant in front of you and you take a ship that matches the type, in this case bark, uh, you would not only get the coins, but that ship would go underneath the merchant, merchant offset and that counts as one additional point for that merchant. Yep. All right, uh, top card. We have a sailor for five. How much money do you have? Oh, that is a good question. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, you can afford a lot. Okay, uh, next card. It is a frigate for one. That's not enough, next. And a passenger for four. Next. 
A merchant for galleons. Okay, next. A bark for three. I'll stop and I'll take the bark. One, two, three for you. <laughs> and, oh, that's a tough one. I would like your money, please. Oh no, I'm gonna buy something. I think I'll buy a merchant. Yes, but which one? I know, that's a tough one. I Do you will... like barking galleons? <laughs> barking galleons. I will take the galleon. Now, I'm not sure, since we haven't played this version that often, in the normal base game of Port Royal, galleons are usually the ones that are worth more. They're, they have higher values. Yes. I don't know if that's true for I here. I think in this case, they're just the black ships. I think so. All right. So one for me. One for you. One, two, three, Check four. Mine. All right, and these go away. And I do have five money to spend on your turn. Okay. How much points is the merchant worth on its own? One. Okay. So, no. So I'm whole, still ahead. You're <laughs> still ahead with your little sailor there. Okay. Ooh, a galleon for three. Ooh. It's money and a point for you. I know. But you have some money, right? I have five. Okay. And a bark for three. Aye. <sighs> I think, I hate to say this, but I think I'm going to stop because if I take the galleon, I get three. And the galleon goes under, should I turn it over, upside down, or just leave it face uh, up? Leave it face up. Okay. So now you have two points. I have two points. Would and you I, like the lovely bark? I will I love the bark. Leave, so lovely. I get one of the coins. Yes, and I get and the other two. you get two. All right, now I can afford some real stuff. <laughs> All right, your first card, card is a merchant for flute. Uh, how much? Six. Cost six, worth two. Okay, okay. Top card. Bark for two. Hmm. Hmm. So, one of the things is, just like Port Royal, if I get four different ships, I could take two cards. And if I get all five different ships, I could take three cards. Yeah, and most of the normal rules apply. It's yes. just the cards How much different. to fight away that bark? Would be one sword, so you could do it. No, it's fine. Next card. It is tax increase. I don't think either of us have more than nine. One, two, three, four, six, seven. I have seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven as well. Okay. So the way um, tax increases work in this version of the game is if you have nine or more coins, you go all the way down to eight. Then, uh, what was that? Minimum victory points gains a coin. However, yes. we are tied. Yes, because mine's worth two and yes. your merchants worth two, so we each get a coin. So that's how a uh, tax increase works. Yeah, it's much gentler in this game. Yes. All right. Next card. Is a sailor for five worth two points? I'm going to stop. I'm going to buy the sailor. Okay. Five, since it's my turn. I got two sailors, so and I have, have two swords. And you have four points, so yes. you're halfway there. One, two, three, four, five, six. I could get the merchant. Or sure. Sweet, sweet money. No, I not, will get the merchant. It's not that sweet. <laughs> two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that bark is not that sweet. So now I can take flutes or galleons and, and get, points, get points for them. And money. Yeah, that is an interesting twist that this uh, version gives. Yes, your turn. Okay, so a merchant for frigates for four. I'm going to keep going. Pirate for seven. I actually really need a ship because I have very little money. Mm. I never kind of pronounce that right. Is it Pinas? It's P I N N A C E. Penis. Penis? Penis. Pen. I'm not good with words sometimes. Okay, well, it's only worth two, but. Nah, I've got to keep going and trying for something better. Ooh, a frigate for three is better. I just wish I had the merchant that actually gives me points for He's that. right out there. I know, I can't get both though. Um, I'll go ahead and stop. I'll get the frigate. So one, two, three. I guess I'll take the penis. So, so one, one for, for me. me and one for you. What's my total up to five money? Okay. Top card. All right. It's a penis for one. Tap card. A flute for two. Tap card. A sailor for three. Tap card. Uh, oh, you busted. 
It's another penis for three. How much to fight it off? Four swords. You only have two. Okay. So you busted. This game's terrible. This game's terrible. I hate it. <laughs> Your turn. My turn. So this is the other thing is sometimes I get confused on whose turn it is because with this game, I'm the one always interacting with the card when we play. I can often lose track of whose turn it is. So he keeps me on track as to whose turn it is. Yes. Well, pin is for two. Let's try again. All right. A passenger for seven. So now that's the other thing about this game. Since this version, the deck is so small, you have to shuffle quite a lot. Well, also the merchants remove ships from the game, so it changes distribution. True. There's one less galleon in there now. That's that's also removing three coins because that galleon was a three coin one. So now there's only fewer, uh, lower value ships out. Okay. I will keep going as a frigate for three. How much money do I have? One, two, three, four, five. Do you have the frigate merchant? No, I only have flute and galleon. Okay. I'm going to keep going. Oh, there's a passenger for seven. Wow, expensive ones. I'll keep trying. <laughs> well, a galleon for one. It's worth one, a point. It's worth a point. For you. I know. It's just only one money. I'll go ahead. I'll stop. Uh, so I do get a coin, and then I tuck it under here. So now I have five points. Okay, I think I need money. What's the money options? Because I think everything Frig else... Frigates the three is yeah, going to be the I'll best. Yeah, I'll take that. So one for you, two for me. So what's your points total now? Uh, five. Ooh, you're ahead. I did get ahead. Your turn now? Yes. Okay. A bark for three. Next. A passenger for four. Next. A merchant for... Penis for... It costs six, though. How much points is he worth? Two. Hmm, I'll continue my uh, next. Okay. A merchant for bark. That costs four. So it's only worth one. Right. Next. A passenger for seven. Ooh, that's worth three points? Yes, it is. Sure, I'll Ooh. buy it for seven. All right. Yeah, this is a real fast game because now you're at... Seven points. Seven points. Just need one more. Um, what you gonna give me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I could get the merchant. Sure. So here's one. Thank one, you. two, three, four, five, six. Okay, just making sure. So now I have three merchants. We'll see. And you're at how many points? Seven. Uh, I am at seven as well. <laughs> you. This might be almost it. All right. Your turn. Thank you. I forgot already whose turn it was. Passenger. Of course, I have no money, mm -hmm. so. Yeah, I need one of the three colors that I have for ships. Sailor for three. All right, there's a bark, which is not the merchant I have. I have three of the five colors. All right, I'm going to keep going. Merchant for galleon. Cost six. All right, there's a penis. It's only one coin, but it's worth one point. I will take it. Okay. So I have one coin. This might be my downfall. Because I have eight, which triggers. Yes. And how much is a ship worth that's out there? Uh, three coins. Okay. I'll take it because so, I need money. Because you get one more turn. Yes. Since we have to play equal number of turns, it's just I'm not sure what I can do with three money. Right. This is where the merchants come in handy because if you reveal ships. Yes. So we'll see. All right. Tab card. It is a merchant for frigates. Cost four. I can't afford that. So next. A tax increase. I don't think either of us. Yeah. Are we equal? Uh, no, you have eight points. Oh, so I you get points. the coin. I get a coin. Now it could afford the merchant. It would give What's you one more the point. tiebreaker though? Money. Do you have I money? have two. Ah. So if you buy the merchant ah. and the game, I would win through tiebreaker. Ah, next. Okay. Oops. Top card only. Frigate for four. That doesn't help me. Next. Penis for three. Next. A pirate for seven. That's too much. Next. A merchant for eight for the penis. Next. Flute for four. So there's three different. There are three different colors. Are you going to go for four? Yes. I have to. Unfortunately, you busted. Nope. You Two can swords? fight this off. Ha ha. This is where my swords come in. Well, it only took one sword. Ha ha. Yes, ha, ha. I fought it off twice. <laughs> ha ha. Next. Okay. Pirate for seven. Next. 
A merchant for frigate. Next. Tax increase. You think you're still lower? Yep, still lower. So here's another coin. I'm making money. You are. The slow way. The very, ready to. Next. Passenger. For how much? Seven. She is worth three. Two, three, four, five. You only have five? I only have five. Next. Okay. Ooh, you did it. A galleon for one. You have four different colored ships. Okay, so that means I can take two cards. Yes. <sighs> so what one, would help me? Because yes. one of them would have to be money. Yes. The downside for you is I could take either the penis or the flute and gain a point. But if I buy the passenger, that gives me three points, putting my total up to ten. And you taking only one ship would bring you to nine. That is true. So that's what I'm going to do. So what's the most money out there? The frigate for four. I'm taking that. One, two, three, four. And the passenger costs seven? Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. So and I'm at ten points. Here's the passenger. And yes, I will take... Yeah, because I only have two, so I can't even afford anything else. So I take the flute only because I like blue. It doesn't really matter. Well, actually, I do get a little bit more money, but I give you one of them. I yep. take two. I'm not really... I should shuffle this, but this is going to be the end of the game, so I'm just flipping the deck, oh, the discard pile over to get one more coin. Oh, no, it goes under here. And now the game is over. Yes. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... And you have two plus two is four, four plus, plus three, three is seven, plus, plus three nine. is ten. And you won. Even though you triggered the end. Yes. That just goes to show triggering the end of the game is not necessarily how you win. All right. And that's the game. Back to us. Thanks, Will. I can take it from here. <laughs> so as you can see, uh, we have a lot of communication that happens mm -hmm. in a game. Uh, Sarah's reading all the cards and I'm even querying her if she like misses something or I find I need reiteration for right. something. Yeah. Uh, on the same token, I'm also helping her. Yeah, because I'm the one interacting with the cards. And this is typical of all games that we have cards for. I have to interact with them. In a game like Port Royal, because when I take a turn, he also does stuff on my turn. And when he takes a turn, I do stuff on his turn. I completely lose track of whose turn it is just because I'm always the one interacting. If he was fully sighted, when I take my turn, yeah, I'm going to interact with the deck. But on his turn, I would hand him the deck and he would interact with it, thus giving me a break and being able to, you know, separate my turn from his turn. Since I can't keep that straight, Will does it for me. <laughs> yes. So I'm always keeping uh, track of the the, I would guess you'd call it the meta structure. Yeah, the, the... the there's the two phases, the discovery and the trade phase. Mm -hmm. So he's making sure that those keep separate. And then also when I'm cleaning up the cards, you always say, okay, now it's your turn or it's my turn. Or sometimes if you forget, I'm like, okay, whose turn is it now? And then you tell me. Yes. Now I did talk a lot about strategy uh, to the audience just so that you get a good understanding of what's going on, what's going through my head. Uh, but a lot of times I'll still mention that type of stuff. Oh yeah, when we, we, play. we play much more open um, because I'm, again, interacting with the components so much for both of us. I have trouble myself. Again, this is where Will can actually help me stay on track is I say out, my, out loud my strategy because then when I'm getting to do stuff, I'm like, oh, what what was it I, what did I want to do? And sometimes he'll pipe in and said, well, you said you wanted to do this. Yeah, because you're essentially jumping heads. Yes. You're like, okay, this is my turn. I'm helping doing this. Now I'm in Will's head and helping <laughs> doing this. What was my head again? And exactly. You're like, well, you're going after merchants. Right. And which ships are you going for again? And you're like, oh, oh, okay, galleons and, right. and, and in, flutes. In smaller games like this, it's not as difficult. In the more complex games, that's where it can get challenging. And that's where there are times I'm not up for playing a game with the two of us because it just requires so much of me of managing all the stuff that I have trouble strategizing and playing my game on top of helping Will play his game. Yes. Which is also why sometimes we do play cooperatives because, 
Well, then we're working together. Anyway. Anyway. Yeah. So it makes it much, you know, easier of we're both trying to help each other because we're that's in part the of, same head. We're in the same head together. Yes. So hopefully you found any or all of that helpful. Uh, if you have any comments, please put them down in yeah. the comment section below. And uh, Sarah, mm. I have a question for you. You have a question for me. What's that? Yes. What? You gonna whisper it? I'm gonna whisper it. Stage whisper? I'm gonna whisper it loudly. Okay. All right. All right. Did you like me winning? <sighs> I was so close. I was so close. I triggered the end of the game, but yes. I just kind of knew that, mm, but if I hadn't, you still probably would have won on your I outstrategized her. Yeah, and this is one of the, again, when I said in my in the, my rating section of this on the rolling with reviews, I love this game. I do not win it very often, but I do get close. Yes. And I do want to also say if there's, if you want to see us play other games, um, do let us know if you want to see like a snippet of a harder, bigger game. We'll see what we can do. And if there was anything you think we can improve, because this is the first time we tried to do a top-down camera thingy. I hope it didn't come out too wobbly. We'll find out, but let us know. Yes. All right, then. All right, and that'll do it for us. And Sarah, what is this? This is how we roll. And remember, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can reach out to us on the various social media platforms at... Rolling with Two, that's T-W-O. We are on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And on YouTube, please like and subscribe. And if you have time, check out the other content Nanaman has found for you. Because remember, he's rolling with you.